Well, I was able to uh, get this chainsaw's uh, muffler totally opened up. Uh, it has a big catalytic converter in it, um, and it made it just get red hot when it was running. So, uh, I uh, undid the crimp all the way around and pulled that piece out and then went ahead and hammered it shut uh, just with a cold chisel. Um, I'm probably going to braise it eventually. Uh, I just wanted to get it together and give it a try. So, uh, yeah, this is the first time running it. Um, it was already a little rich, and with the cold, I suspect it's going to be leaned right out. But it has a really odd uh, carburetor adjustment on it as well. So I'm going to have to modify the carburetor screws by putting a little cut in them so I can actually adjust them. Uh, so we're going to see how it runs right now. definitely hot but uh, not red hot like it was yeah let's see how she restarts
Good enough. forward because uh, there's some issue with the fuel filter and um, it doesn't seem to quite follow the fuel as well as it should. I don't know if the, uh, the line is messed up but it had an odd weight on it as well that seemed to run up and down the line so I think that might be some of the problem. But uh, other than that it's running pretty cool. Uh, the crankcase is warm but uh, it definitely seems to be cooler than it was. So, yeah. Seems like it might be leaking a bit of fuel around the, uh, uh, the anti-vibe here, which doesn't seem great, but uh, I'll look into that and see how it goes. Still not bad for the saw that cost me $150. The chain is uh, semi-chisel, um, no safety rakers. It's had one filing and uh, yeah, it does okay. laser bar oil in this right now and uh, yeah it smells like absolute crap I do not recommend it it just smells awful I normally use the Husqvarna stuff and it doesn't really have any smell that I've noticed or not a particularly strong one but the laser stuff yuck just reeks yeah now that I'm done with that, uh, yeah, time to blow it off, get all the sawdust out of it, all the bar oil off of it, and put it back for a little while. I uh, had dropped it earlier, and it blew the chain catch off of it. And that also appears to hold the anti-vibe spring. So, yeah, gotta get that replaced. And I thought I could just remove that part there, um, with the, uh, screw and go ahead and put, like, a piece of metal in to hold the anti-vibe spring. But, uh, no, there's a dowel that goes through all the way and holds the gas tank. So, yeah, 